Hi everyone, I'm Carrie, and welcome to my channel. Before we get into my tutorial, I'd like to take a moment to explain the video hop. I'm honored to be a part of this collective effort to save Crafty YouTuber. YouTube has changed the rules, and that means that they require a certain number of video views and subscribers in order for the creator's video to be monetized. Some of the biggest names in the industry, along with companies, have come together to help those in need to bring you, our viewers, some awesome new tutorials and to bring you some new artists you may have never discovered yet. Once you have finished watching my video, there is a link you can click to see the next person in today's hop. The more videos you watch and leave a comment, you have the better off the chances you have to win one of over 120 prizes from our amazing sponsors. In my video, you have a chance to win a $25 gift certificate from Summon Says Stamp or two inks from Katherine Puller. Fun, huh? Winners will be chosen on February 26th. Okay, on with my video. For today's video, I wanted to create a background using some Distress Oxide inks. And I'm using two colors for my background today. I'm using the Fossilized Amber and Abandoned Coral. And I'm just kind of doing a circular motion from the middle out. I want to kind of create like a spotlight, if you will. So I am first doing obviously the yellow color and then I'm going to sponge on that abandoned coral. And then uh, in between, I'm going to kind of blend the two colors together and it'll kind of create a little bit of an orange uh, tinge to it toward the, toward the middle there. So once I have all of this blended, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take a stencil and then we're going to kind of create a little bit of a background distressed uh, with that stencil, but we're not going to add ink to it. So once I get all of this blended the way I want, get it really smooth, I am using a piece of Tim Holtz water, uh, Distress Watercolor Cardstock today. And I'm using this stencil from My Favorite Things. This is the Radiating Ray stencil. And I've got my Distress Sprayer here and I'm going to spray this water liberally over this stencil. And just let that soak into the paper for a moment and then I'm just going to dot away that excess water. And what it's going to do is going to create that texture of that stencil and leave behind a little bit of the distressed look from that radiating rays pattern that we've got. You can leave this on a little bit longer if you wanted to. Just take the time to either just let the, the water soak in a little bit longer. You can even do this with a stamp too to get the same effect. To kind of speed up the drying process, I'm going to use my heat tool here. But you can see how wonderful that leaves behind that distress pattern of that radiating, radiating ray stencil. So off camera, I went ahead and die cut and color, <clears throat> excuse me, my little, uh, little monster here just to save some time in the video. I did use my Copic markers to color him just kind of real simply. And I'm also going to be using some pattern paper from this Lawn Fawn 6x6 paper, paper pack. And I just kind of chose a pattern that had some stars onto it. Since he is a little bit of a monster or whatever like that, I thought it would be fun to add the star background just to add to the overall effect of him. So I'm just going to add that to my the middle of my panel here. This kind of create a little bit of a background for him. I'm also going to go ahead and stamp out my sentiment. This comes from the same stamp set. And I thought it would be fun since a lot of you are going to be new to my channel. I thought I would uh, create this card specifically for all of you guys just to say hi. So uh, it says greetings. And I think it's just so fun to create with this stamp set. It's just something that I normally don't create with. It's something that I normally don't go for. But it is just super fun and I enjoyed creating this card today. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to my white card base. This is an A2 top fold card base here. My favorite white card stock is the Paper Tray Ink Stamper Select White. I'm going to go ahead and add some liquid glue to the back of this panel here and then add this directly to my white card base and get that into place. The glue really makes it easy to get this lined up and adhered and gives me a little bit of wiggle room to make sure it's good and straight. So for my uh, final embellishments here, I'm going to add some little bit of a googly eyes just to add to the overall effect. And it just really gives them a little bit more personality. And it just adds to the fun effect of this whole entire card. So I thought I would also add some little, a uh, little bit of embellishment with the hearts. I didn't want to add any more gems or anything. I just wanted to keep this, this as flat as possible. 
So I'm just adding some hearts from various other little stamp sets that I have in my collection. Just took out some hearts that I thought would go great with this card. And I'm just stamping them down using that same Distress Oxide ink that I used before. So that completes my card for today, today guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's hop. Be sure to click on the link in the description bar below and I will catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching.